Hotel Venus look at the ceilings. It's super cute. So let me show you around. I'm exploring at the same time. So I'm at. Ooh. All your kitchen stuff, including the coffee maker, cupboard space. Coming in here, we have seating area for four. Somewhere to store our suitcase, which is always welcome. And a kitchenette, which is very nice. And this, which is insane, which is a fridge that the hotel has actually stocked for us so that we can make our own breakfast, which is incredible. So here is our little hotel room and I'm already blown away. Look what they've put in here for us. Greek cheese and eggs and local grapes. <gasps> little tiny bottles of wine and nuts. Water, or is that Raki? I can't tell. Uzo. Uzo, whoops. Look, how cool is this? And we also a basket of nuts and bread and it's so thoughtful. And honestly, in all the places we've stayed, we've never had any of this. Oh, so that is, that's a big croissant. Who's putting the name on that? But right now, it's bedtime. Me. See ya, see ya. A ploppadopolis. <laughs> Nothing in the freezer. Worth a check. Washing machine is in this cupboard. Space saving along with the water heater. We have toilet, shower, gorgeous tiling, vanity unit, a theater, <laughs> um, toiletries, everything that we would possibly so need. This is the bedroom. I will give you a view of that one when um, there isn't a naked man in there <laughs> chilling out. Um, and chilling. finally, okay. we have this for three people, so they've popped the bed here, but Thea doesn't want to sleep in a strange place on her own. <laughs> so we're going to move the rafters. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, her bed is here. And finally, we have two comfy sofas and a TV Oof. and we have the all important air con um, Ooh, in here and shelves. in the roof as well and some upside down shell lamps that Thea wants to bring your attention to mm -hmm. and that is our hotel and our host who I think is called Sophia but might also be called Misty is really nice and says we don't have to take our paperwork and stuff to it right now we can take it in the morning because we are very tired um, having traveled here so I'll take you around for a view of the outside because it's very pretty here. Um, but we'll do that when it's light tomorrow. As of the apartment, there's a really cute little seating area which is perfect for morning coffees and evening wines. We share this with our neighbor. Look at the view. The outside of the Avernos, I'm sure I'm saying it wrong, is gorgeous. This is very historic and old. It's in the campo of he asked and um, very few of these original villas are still standing a lot of them disappeared in the 1891 earthquake but this one is fully restored so there's loads of different bedrooms that's our studio three and there's studios all the way along and can you see the kittens they are baby kittens heaps of parking and it's all really secure and yes, when we got here, I was freaked out about getting in and out of this space. You'll notice the main road goes right across, but they're over there, can you see? There's a little parking mirror, and actually everybody drives very carefully around here, so getting out, even in something that big, has proved no problem. Spoil enough. Then the hotel owner brought us Kalamata olives, which are my absolute favorite, and apologize that these were not here already. This place is unreal. See, thank you so much for making us feel so welcome. We have never been in a place quite like it. You left us everything for an amazing Greek breakfast on our last day. So thank you so much for looking after us in your apartment. We definitely 100% give 10 out of 10 to the Avgenos Hotel. It's... Honestly, guys, you are going to want to stay here if you come to here.
Yeah. yeah. I have a spy camera on that food. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, it's me. I'm a nut. Nicole. Sure, okay. <laughs> sure. Nicole. Yeah. <laughs> so, 